about you, Bill. Thank you, Madam Chair and uh, members of the committee. I'm Bob Pascal from the 11th Legislative District. I appreciate your expediting the hearing because I have a couple of other bills being heard at the same time. So um, this bill came to me actually from public utility districts, not the, not the association itself, but in talking with a couple of members, they were really frustrated because uh, cities uh, or other taxing authorities had the ability to impose utility tax, uh, but they didn't have to collect it. So they didn't have to answer to the people on what this amount is. And people had no idea that it was even on their bills. So they thought it was the utility districts raising their taxes on them, which it wasn't. They were just the ones collecting it. Uh, but beyond that, we we know that utility taxes are some of the most regressive taxes as well, because um, in order to live in civil society, at least, you have to pay the bills, uh, regardless of how wealthy or poor you are. So we should, the public should know exactly what's on their bill. This bill is not new to this committee. Well, it is new to this committee, not new to the local government committee that used to exist. Uh, this bill actually has passed off the Senate floor two or three times now, but has died in the House. And it's passed off the Senate floor nearly unanimously. I think uh, four years ago, it was 47 to two, and, and then three years ago, it was uh, unanimous, no opposition, because the bill was pretty well worked. Uh, the version you have in front of you is a striking amendment that was adopted uh, put forth by the House. Can I talk about the House in this committee? Um, I guess. I'm going anyway. to give you special dispensation. <laughs> yeah, okay. thank you, Madam Chair. You're so gracious. <laughs> so uh, they, they, the uh, advocates and and uh, lobbyists and everybody got together and worked out this striking amendment that you see before you. But nonetheless, it did not get off the House floor. So we're just running it again to get it back over there and hopefully it'll get to the governor's desk this year. Okay, thank you.